Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to color block your um, sweater sleeves. I was making a sweater for my daughter, a cardigan, of course, and I didn't plan it out well. So I cut the fabric and then realized I didn't have enough for the sleeves. And I really didn't want to do a solid color for the sleeves. It just felt like it was going to look like a vest. Um, and I knew she wouldn't wear it, so I didn't want to do that. She's a very picky little fashionista. So I thought, well, maybe I'll color block because I've seen that in all the little teeny bobber teenager stores. Um, I figured I could probably get away with that and sell that idea to her. So that's what I did. So I'm going to show you what my sleeves look like and then I'll show you how I actually did it. Um, it's so easy. Anyone can do it. Really anyone. This will be a super fast little video and then you will all have beautiful, clean uh, color block sleeves. Okay. So this is the cardigan and these are the sleeves. So you can see all I did was I added a strip of blue in the middle um, around the elbow area. And then I am going to have a blue band on the front just to tie it all together. So what I did first is I took my sleeve pattern and I grabbed the shoulder and I held it up to my daughter. And I saw about where her elbow hit was around here. So I went uh, about three inches up and three inches down just because that was about the size of the patch that I wanted to do and it gave me enough fabric to do the bottom and the top the same. So here's what I did with the pattern, very simply. Um, because I had it obviously all in one piece. So this was how it looked. So once I held it up to her and I marked that elbow piece on the side, I knew it was um, an inch over here. So that was my center. So then, like I said, I went up and down and I simply cut the actual pattern. Then when I lay the piece, so we use this one, um, the top piece, for example, here's another piece of fabric just to show. So I put the piece down. Um, you can do two things. You can either just cut it, but you are going to lose a little bit of length in your sleeve. If you're planning on doing cuffs, that would be okay because you could just add up the length in the cuff. If not, I suggest about half, a uh, quarter to half an inch, depends on what your seam allowance wants to be. So then I would put, obviously, a larger ruler than this across, and then that's where I would cut it. Do it on both pieces, so then your sleeve ends up the exact same length as what it was originally supposed to be in, um, and then you know you're going to get the proper fit. Uh, that works best. You can choose to top stitch. I didn't in this case mostly because I was being lazy and didn't want to change the thread, but because it also sat really flat, I didn't find that I got a lot of waving, um, maybe because it's a little bit thicker French terry, but that seemed to work okay. Um, and I am, while I am going to hem the sleeves, just regular, I'm going to do it nice and easy, so that way as she grows, I can just chop them off and then add a cuff for her. Uh, and I will show you in just a moment what it looks like on. Up for a sec, baby, and just quick little spin. So this is the look you can expect if you color block the sleeves. I hope it turns out beautifully.